transplanting belly fat into the spine could help cure paralysis from spinal cord injuries. That in a new report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe to get the latest information. Researchers from Tel Aviv University say they have found a way to turn belly fat into a material which can repair spinal cord damage that leaves patients paralyzed. In the groundbreaking new procedure, scientists implanted genetically engineered tissue into the spines of mice, allowing the animals to walk again. Since the tissue comes from the actual patient, every sample is a personalized implant for the spinal cord with no chance of rejection. That means there is no need for immunosuppressant drugs which can endanger the patient's health. In experiments, the world-first technique restored mobility in nearly all mice. The tissue mimics development of the spinal cord in human embryos. Study authors call the results highly encouraging. Clinical trials are already in the planning phases. It's the first time an implanted engineered human tissue has led to a successful recovery in an animal dealing with long-term chronic paralysis. In the study, scientists extracted fatty tissue and other acellular material from the patient's stomachs and manipulated the samples into what's known as pluripotent stem cells that can turn into any kind of cell, including spinal cord cells. They also transformed the acellular material into a personalized hydrogel that supports the cells and allows them to form a functioning tissue. Combining that material with the newly formed stem cells created the spinal cord implant. Studies using animal and human blood have previously shown the patient-specific biomaterials do not induce an immune response. In this experiment, scientists used the 3D implants to form a neural network containing motor neurons. They hope paralyzed individuals will be receiving the engineered devices within a few years, enabling them to stand up and walk again. In the United States, there are about 260,000 Americans currently living with a spinal cord injury. Researchers say they hope they can begin clinical trials within the next few years. Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.